Hello everybody, today we are going to discuss the linear difference equation and how to find the solution of a linear difference equation. So we will also discuss the stability and monotonicity and the cyclicity of uh, the solution. So the linear difference equations uh, actually uh, models how a variable say xt moves through the time. So we have uh, the time and uh, at point time say t equal to 0 we have the values x0 and at time point t equals 1 that we have the values as uh, x1 and so on and x studies our uh, equilibrium here so uh, for some uh, point at t equal to 0 we have the initial value which is x0 so we write the linear difference equations as xt plus 1 uh, equals a plus bxt and this is the first order linear difference equation because xt plus 1 only depends on the previous value that is xt and a and b are some constants. Now there are like two types of linear difference equations we are going to discuss. The first one is the homogeneous linear difference equations. In this case xt plus 1 equals bxt. So here that constant term a e does not appear in this equation. So this is our equation. So our first thing is to, to find the solution of this uh, equation. Now uh, a general solution can be found by backward substitution. Uh, and that can be written as xt equals b to the power t times c for some value c in the real line. So this is some arbitrary value. Okay. So this is our general solution. Now let's uh, work through uh, an example. Suppose uh, our linear difference equations is given as xt plus 1 equals 0.5 sorry uh, there is a mistake so it's 0.5 times xt so our b is clearly here 0.5 so now let's uh, just uh, write the general solution first you remember that general solution is found by the backward substitution uh, and then in this case the general solution is uh, x t equals 0.5 that is my b to the power t times c again for some arbitrary value c in the real line. Next, uh, suppose we are given some uh, initial condition that is the value of x at point 0 which is uh, say it's uh, 5. Okay, and this is given. So when the initial value is given we can find a particular solution. Okay, so our particular solution is in this case uh, again xt equals 0.5 to the power t times my initial value which is 5 okay so the particular in particular solution we just replace that arbitrary value c by that value uh, 5 that initial value not that the b in absolute value in this case is 0 0.5 which is smaller than 1 okay this basically means that my solution is convergence okay it, it, so it basically means like as t goes to infinity your xt will approach uh, to the power 0 because you can see that 0 0.5 to the power t as t goes to infinity is uh, uh, it approaches to 0 so it's it is uh, a convergence uh, convergence system uh, next move towards the second type of uh, linear difference equation the non-homogeneous or inhomogeneous linear 
difference equations. So let's write the general form, which is x t plus 1 equals a plus b times x t and uh, we write it uh, as t equals 0, 1, 2 and remember all these things are for discrete time okay so it is t equals 0, 1, 2 uh, and in this case suppose x naught is the initial condition okay now the solution so there are two cases here the first one uh, let's uh, start with the simple one that suppose b equals 1 in this case uh, from our equation we can see that uh, it simply uh, turns out as xt plus 1 equals a plus xt t equals 0 1 2 so the solution again by backward substitution you can see it's simply uh, xt equals uh, t times a plus x naught my initial value okay that's simple but the more interesting case is when b is not equal to 1. So, in this case, the solution uh, is xt equals b to the power t then times x naught minus a by 1 minus b plus a by 1 minus b now this uh, a divided by 1 minus b uh, has a special meaning it is the equilibrium uh, of this equation okay remember that at equilibrium uh, point you know that uh, the value at x uh, x at t and x at t plus 1 remains the same so uh, we write it as x t star equals a plus b x t star and if we solve it we can see that x t star the equilibrium value is exactly the same that is a over 1 minus b right okay so now uh, take an example uh, Mm, so suppose x t plus 1 equals uh, 0 0.5 x t plus uh, 3 so and the initial value is 3 uh, here b is clearly 0.5 a is 3 and my initial value x not equal to 3 so the solution uh, uh, let's uh, okay so first uh, Mm, okay, so let's find the equilibrium value first. Okay, so that would be our first stage. So in this case, it is uh, remember a divided by one minus b is three over one minus point five, and it is six. Right. Now let's write the solution, which is b to the power t which is 0.5 to the power t then 3 minus 6 plus 6 so if we rewrite it is 6 minus 3 times 0.5 to the power t and okay so let's let me write uh, the values of t equals 0 1 2 3 so that's i uh, that's our solution of this uh, particular LDE. Uh, next, uh, discuss about the stability and the convergence of the equilibrium. So, the condition for convergence is the B in absolute value is smaller than 1. So, if your B in absolute value is smaller than 1, it will imply the convergence or the stability okay so uh, so the absolute value of b uh, okay so let me write it uh, in a different way so what does actually the absolute value of b means you uh, lies between uh, one minus one to plus one so that's uh, actually means uh, that the 
your b in absolute value is smaller than one next comes the monotone or the cyclical uh, case how to deter, uh, determine whether my system is monotone or cyclical so if you have a positive b okay then you have a monotone system okay so monotone convergence and if you have a negative b then you have a cyclical or oscillating convergence okay so you can see here the b plays a pivotal role in determining both the convergence and the monotonicity and cyclic uh, cyclicity so in our example b was 0.5 so it is a stable or convergent and also uh, monotone so that's the thing so now for you to do uh, a, a simple exercise so let's say the LDE, LDE is xt plus 1 equals 3 by 4 xt plus 2 uh, with the initial value x naught equals 5 